Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to respond to some questions that I've been getting regarding making a connection between Clipper and Cura. Uh, this particular one came to me today, and it's from uh, Peter. And what he's asking is that he's struggling to make the connection between Cura and uh, his Ender 3 V2 running Clipper. And I realized that when Doug and I put together this document here, we left out uh, that information. So if you go to, and I'll link all these files in the video description, that way you guys don't have to hunt them. But uh, if you go to page 21 in the Clipper uh, flashing guide, you're going to see that uh, there's a section here that talks about loading a specific start G code. So start there because the Clipper bed mesh uh, loading info is a little bit different than Marlin. So I recommend that you start here. Once you're done with this part on page 25, you'll see the instructions on how to install the plugin into Cura. But there's also another way, and I'll include the plugin file uh, just in case you guys want to do it this way. But I found that you can also do it using the marketplace. Now, at the time that I recorded the original Clipper video, uh, the new version of Cura had just come out, and there was no way that I could get the plugin to work. Now, they may have resolved that by now, uh, but uh, another way you can do it is you can go to the marketplace in Cura. And once you're in here, you're going to click on the little marketplace button on the top right. And this is going to take some time to load. The marketplace is very slow to load. But once it loads, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. And you're going to look for Moonraker Connection. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. Uh, but once you click on this, it's going to give you the option to connect via Moonraker. And let me show you how, how to do that specifically. So once you get that installed, you're going to come over here to settings you're going to go to your printer and you're going to manage printers and um, let me let me pick a printer that i know does not have um, let me see if it's let me try this one all right so i'm going to activate this printer that i know doesn't have the uh, moonraker installed all right and then you're going to have this connect moonraker button if you don't have the button that means you don't have the plugin installed so click on that once you get it installed and it's going to ask you for an address now the address is your raspberry pi ip address or you can also use the um the the, the web name that you gave it so for example for me i have uh this address right here so I can just simply copy this and paste this uh, into here, just like that. Another important thing is uh, over here where it says Upload, you want to click on that as well. And you want to make sure that you select UFP with thumbnail, just like that. And then it's up to you if you want to add any of these uh, other toggles. You can automatically start the print after the upload. Uh, sometimes I like to upload things and I don't really want to start the print, so I don't have this box checked. You can hide the dialog box after 30 seconds, so it's not up on your screen. Actually, I like this idea here. And then you just uh, close it, and that's it. So now, if I have this printer activated... And uh, let me let me go to a printer that I have that actually works here. All right, so I got um, I got this one loaded up currently. All right, so after you slice your part, you'll have uh, you'll have this choice by default, save to disk, which is how you would normally do it for Marlin. But if you click on this little down uh, arrow, you'll also have the option now to upload to Clipper. So you can click on that, select Upload to Clipper. You'll get this other dialog box.
that asks you, hey, do you just want to upload this or do you want to upload this and also start the print job? Uh, if you want to do that, select this box and click upload. Uh, I'll just upload it for now just to show you. You'll get a confirmation that the upload was successful. And then you can go back to your Clipper session, go to your G-Code uh, files. And then here is the file that we just uploaded uploaded. So you can click on it. It will show you a picture of what it is because you've selected that thumbnail uh, option when you set up the Moonraker connection. And then you just select print. It's easy as that. Guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell and leave some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as I see them. All right, guys, this video is a wrap. See you in the next one. Take care.